Alright, this is a test of my uh, my penny dampers. Basically, I took a damper design from uh, CNC Zone and uh, I think it was GR, GER21 who uh, mentioned it to me. Um, and uh, I modified it to use pennies instead of half inch um, slugs because I didn't want to cut them all out. So this is my test. I usually run this machine at 30. At the moment I have it uh, 30 inches per minute. Um, this is currently set up to do 60. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the run here. And look over here. That is running at 60. Forth. This is my Y. And you see the penny damper. It's not perfectly um, lined up. My couplings aren't the best, um, but it seems to be doing a pretty good job. I'm going to take the coupling off in a minute and we'll see if it stalls, just to give you an idea of if they work at all. The run so it comes back to center. Okay, let me take the damper off and see if we get the hideous noise that is stalling. Let's see if we hear the noise. Not yet. Maybe the machine is worn in. Nope. So there you go. Those cheap dampers I made with pennies uh, work wonders. Um, I'm going to experiment a little bit and see how well they work. And uh, maybe I'll add some more video. So uh, there you go. It stalled really fast. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, so um, this is going to be a, a run through the various speeds at six inch increments to see that it can run through all the way up to say 60 or 66 or higher, but I don't think it'll make it higher. Um, so this first step is at 42. Um, I figured out that I usually run the Y at 36, so 42 is the next step. Um, so I'm going to hit run, hit the run button. And there you go. That is a blazing 42 inches per minute. One button, stop. Okay, I'm going to bump it up to 48. Alright, so there's 48. Keep waiting for that awful stall sound. Okay, so that's 48. Uh, next step up is going to be 54, I think. It up to 60. All right, that is 60. Ooh. Ooh. That's not good. I hate that sound. All right, I'm going to try 60 one more time. I expect it's going to stall because it's wanting to piss me off today. Well, not this time. I have to look at the video again. All right, here we go again. This is going to be um, 42 inches without the dampers.
Okay. I'm only doing half run, so it's hard to tell if it's going to be running. It would run a long, long time. Um, okay, this is the next stop. That is going to be um, 48. I think. <laughs> Four. I expect it to stall. It does. All right, it's a sixty just for fun. The table's smaller. Looks like it's in trouble. No. All right, so that's 60, and you see how fast that stalls. Um, this would be 66. For fun. Okay, so I think we've uh, demonstrated. How fast it stalls beyond that, so uh, I can put the damper back on, I guess. Alright, so there's the damper back on. You can see it doesn't stall nearly as fast at 60. It may still stall. I don't know. Alright. So it's having some impact. Um, I can try again at 66 and see what happens. a little bit when I want to change direction so that's a wonderful sound I've never heard that before <laughs> uh, uh, okay this is at uh, 72 I expected to die although it seems like it's dying near the uh, direction changes so that could be an acceleration thing all right so in conclusion it looks like I'll be gaining about 18 inches per minute by adding the penny damper to my y-axis so that's pretty respectable um, so pretty happy um, if you'd like to make one of these yourselves um, the DFX files are available on my site it's www.grumpygeek.com and uh, it should be under penny dampers and I'll probably have that posted tomorrow and uh, anyway, thank you for watching, and bye-bye. Uh,